Hey guys, welcome back to the sixth episode of Tech Bites. Thanks for all the likes, shares, and views on episode five. I would love it if you could like this video and subscribe to make sure that I post future content. Anyway, let's get started. This first article comes from ZDNet, a general tech news site. They reported that Microsoft released new devices as well as a whole new operating system. The two devices we'll be focusing on are the Surface Duo and the Surface Neo. The Neo is foldable, and because of that, the Neo actually runs a brand new specialized version of Windows called Windows 10X. It can also have a detachable keyboard that sits on top of the bottom screen. The screen will have an autocomplete on the top part of that screen then. The Surface Duo, on the other hand, is an Android smartphone. This device will not have a keyboard, and instead of the display folding, there are two separate displays on the device. No details on the spec so far, but I think this is a great idea. The release date will be in a year, so developers can continue to work on these apps. Thank you, Microsoft. The second article comes from The Verge, an American technology news site. They reported that Nokia made a new flip phone called the 2720 Flip. The Flip has all three-day battery life and can run WhatsApp and many Google apps. It's really that you'll be using WhatsApp on a T9 keyboard or even watching YouTube on a 2.8-inch screen. I, I do actually think this phone could be a good backup to like leave in your car because it does have those Google apps. Also could be used as a pretty nifty audio player or music streaming device. Article number three comes from Android Authority, a general gadget news site. They say that Facebook, which is the parent company of Instagram, made a new app called Threads from Instagram. This app is meant to be just for sending Instagram stories to close friends. But if you remember, they already implemented this feature into the regular Instagram app. So it's really confusing as to why they made it a separate app. Facebook says that this is like a camera app, but it doesn't even have any of the special features or effects that regular Instagram has. The, this app also doubles as a messaging app like Facebook Messenger. Generally, I don't see how this will appeal to anyone, but somehow it already has 10 thousand downloads so maybe this won't be a flop we'll see very soon this fourth article comes from wired a monthly american magazine and daily news site they reported that a bug in android could completely take control of your phone the hack could be exploited by you by visiting sketchy websites or by using an untrusted apk instead of one in the google play store this hack also affects the Pixel 1 and 2, as well as many Samsung Galaxy phones. The bug has already been exploited, so be careful, my fellow techies. My advice is just not to download sketchy apps that aren't on the Google Play Store, or just using a different browser that isn't vulnerable. This fifth article comes from TechCrunch. They reported that Amazon Prime Video completely disappeared from the App Store on the iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV. You weren't able to download the app or even update it when they were having this glitch. Right after the app reappeared, there was an update to the x-ray feature. So it's most likely that they had taken it down while they were updating it, but they didn't put it back on until later. I guess nobody's perfect though, right? This issue has since been resolved. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, and maybe consider buying the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Bye.